I like when you the last. Um, I just met Sarah Guanamo. She seems really sweet, and I've heard her voice as well, and she's very talented. She has great voice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, my my mom listens to Vina Morales. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> how, how, how do you describe your music? My music is R&B pop, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of empowering um, strength lyrics, um, a lot of dancing, and you know there's also a lot of ballads that are very close to my heart. There's one that's actually mm -hmm. dedicated to the victims of the typhoon I yeah. called All It Takes Is A Moment. <laughs> Oh, he's a leaving on that midnight train to Georgia. Hey, yeah, said he's going back to find oh a simple place in time. Oh yes, he is, and oh, I've got to be with him on that midnight train to Georgia. I'd rather live in his world than live without him in my What love gonna board that midnight train in Georgia Sing it one more time for love Gonna board that midnight train in Georgia I've got to go, I've got to go, I've got to go There was also, <laughs> and there was also um, another single there called Wonder Woman, which was dedicated to a Canadian girl who was a victim of bullying. Oh. So a lot of heartfelt songs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you also uh, write in your songs? I do. I co-wrote most of the songs on this album. There was only a couple that I didn't co-write, but. Most of them. It's something I enjoy. We never go into the studio planning what we're going to write about, but but it's a good process. And I especially work with some really talented people. I mean, Orlando Calzada, who masters a lot of um, One Direction, and um, and it, uh, J Lo. Sorry, I'm being told that my hair is a mess. So. <laughs> um, um, what's uh, your? Do you have any personal favorite you know, among the songs? Yeah. Lemma, there is one. That's it's called Champion, and the lyrics it goes like this. Okay. Gloves on tight, swinging like a champion. Jab with a right, take it like a champion. Knock me down, get up like a champion. So it's it's about being strong, and you know who that was written about? Mm -hmm. Manny Pacquiao. Wow! <laughs> oh. You're so close to your Ma roots. Manny can, I am. Manny I am. can hear your song. Uh, yeah, it's about him. I'm very I'm proud to be Filipino, you know, mm -hmm. especially since you know the doors were shut in my face from record companies because I'm Filipino. They said, okay, you're a good singer, but I don't know if the world is ready for you yet. So so I keep that close to my heart, and I, I make sure that we write, rewrite songs that are all about being strength, because strong, because that's... Well, my first album actually was released in 2007. My very first single, sorry, I called Insatiable, and that went number one. But, you know, this album, I worked with some amazing producers the same the same producer who, in Canada yes yes the same producer who um, produced my very first album so that's how this album came about we knew I okay long story short I was in a um, lawsuit with my old record company mm -hmm. and we won't even we won't get into that negativity but um, this album has a lot of strong Lyrics, like I said, I already said that, but because um, it taught me, especially after that lawsuit that I had with my old record company, it taught me that you know life knocks you down. It's up to you to either get back up or stay down. And yeah, that's how this album came about. And that's why. Yes, round three. <laughs> What's your biggest influence in music? In music, okay. You know what? I love Beyonce. I love Jessie J. I love Ari Ariana Grande right now, yeah, and I like I like a little bit of everything actually. I like Michael Jackson. I like a lot of the old school Motown. Um, yeah, 
Yeah, I could go on. You want me to go on and on? <laughs> well, how about how about a career here in the Philippines? Oh yes, well that is why I'm here <laughs> to promote this album and to get in touch with him. Perhaps? Yes, will we, will we see more of you in the future here in the country? I, I hope so. I mean, I just signed with Viva Records. So you're and willing to go back and forth? Yes, I am. I am willing to go back and forth and do what I gotta do <laughs> to promote and help and let everyone know, my fellow Pinoys know that this is what I've been doing. <laughs> right. Okay, so do you have any message for uh, the Filipinos? Your Kababayan. Yes, Kababayan. Please come to my mall shows. <laughs> because my shows are a lot of fun. There's a lot of craft participation, a lot of dancing, and a lot of singing. So, yeah. And I'm happy to be here. And I really want to see you. Tapos, kailangan mag practice yung aking Tagalog. So, please join me. Para may ka usap. So, yeah, so thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we really enjoyed it.